Yes, that's Joe Bleen here, and today we're going to be doing another one of the bundles. Uh, we've been making decent progress with quite a few of these. Obviously, we've completed the hazard. These unlock later, but they are all ready. Um, obviously, we've already got Louise, Kaka, and Neymar. All black we're working on. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to complete all black before it finishes, so I'm really hoping the versus attack packs come back. Them value packs, they were really good. Big Leo, we've done 100 so far. Higuain, we've done 32. So we're working our way through them. <laughs> you, saw, you saw the match the other day. There's the follow-up. Um, but now it's a case of, I guess, working through Pogba, potentially. Um, obviously, it's the kits we mainly need. But Pogba would be a good addition. And then the others over time. I think one of the ones I do want to go for is the Baines at left-back. Because Danny Rose is the left-back 96 at the moment. So Baines is someone I want to go for when he unlocks. And I'm not sure with the others, I'll see how they go. But we're going to do a bundle today and just keep working our way through them. So I think we're going to do a midfielders one today. We did, what was it we did? We did a defenders. Okay, WhatsApp's going off as well. We did a defenders bundle. Uh, no, yeah, we did defenders. We're going to do a midfielders bundle today. We'll do an attackers bundle in a few days. Um, and see what we can get. Hopefully we can get a bunch of kits and map pieces to help us unlock the treasure chest items. And we get a De Rossi and a Pogba in this kit. Pogba one's very, very useful indeed. Because I do want to build that Pogba. So great start there. And anything else. And a Carvalho. So we're only supposed to get one kit, aren't we? And we managed to get three. Yeah, only one kit's guaranteed and we managed to get three. So that's a great start to this bundle. The more kits, the better. Because even... If it's a play that we don't want to do, we can always turn three of them into a wild card kit to put in any of them. And there's an 85 Hazard. He's useful because obviously he will go into the XP player plan. 285 is very nice. And a David Silver preseason kit. I believe David Silver is actually a left mid. I may look into potentially going for David Silver and replacing Martial. Um, and then we get a normal David Silver because... Obviously, you need to use 99 players on the rank up tokens, which you use at the final stage. We get another De Rossi and an 85 Luis and an 85 Pepe. So 85 and above players are very, very, very useful for that plan. Because it's like, is it five of them? No, it's, oh dear, we skipped a lot there. It's 20, 85 to 89, isn't it? Then it's 90 to 90, so on and on. And another David Silva, decent. And an 89 Sergio Ramos. Very nice indeed. However, do 89 fall into the gap before? I forgot now thinking about it. But we'll take an 89 Ultimate Flashback um, Ramos. Very decent because player prices are going up. Mainly because people want them to put into the events. Um, into the plans, should I say. Not the events. And oh my god, we've got Ronaldo. Get in. 90 rated Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe they don't go for much anymore. But always packing the Ronaldo is a big, big achievement. I'm happy with that. Obviously, we did pack a Ronaldo in the mystery box. And now we finally packed the 90-rated Ronaldo. Just after packing the 89 ultimate flashback Ramos. But Ronaldo, I can finally say... Well, I guess I could already say I've packed Ronaldo. Because I did in the mystery box. But the mystery box was one of them like special FIFA point only packs. This is from... Well, it, although it's from a bundle, it's from a pack that could have been bought with coins. And an 85 Robin in the pack to round it off. Very nice indeed. 90 Ronaldo in a pack. It's at the end, but we've packed him at the end. Imagine if we could get Messi in this bundle as well. That would be wishful thinking. And we get a Thiago. Decent. Thiago looks a very strong card. Well, to be fair, they all look very, very strong cards. With them all being 100 rated and plus one overall. So we can't complain about them in any way. Uh, but I do think these... Um, and a David Silver, we're getting quite a few of them. Maybe that's pointed in the direction that maybe we should look to um, go for David Silver. And a 5,000 doubloon. Anything else in here? Not really. Three packs to go and then the topper. But we've not been getting many map pieces, have we? And the map pieces are what I was wanting a lot. And an 85 Robin again. Nine Golan. He's a cam, but he looks very, very good. 86 Aguero and an 81 Morello, okay, okay, yeah, I was hoping to get map pieces, we get some map pieces in the topper, I believe, but I want to get those map pieces, I want to get those treasure chests unlocked, and and we get another David Silver, we take that, we will take that indeed, okay, okay, De Sigzo, Doka, because basically we'll essentially use the Marshall to become a rank up to turn into David Silver, Marshall is a good card to use, Buffon and Alexandro, very nice, 
Pogba, yes, another Pogba one. We will take that. Uh, it's annoying with the Mosh. And an 87 Bale. Wow, 87 Bale and 90 Ronaldo in the same pack opening. As far as elites go, that is very nice and lucky. And another Pogba. Is that double Pogba pack? Yes, it is. Very, very nice. This bundle has been pretty damn successful. I'm very, very, very pleased with this bundle. And here we go in the topper. So we get the 10 X marks a spot. Okay, that's good. We've got one of the X markers. And we get an 8. And there's the wild card and more XP attack. So let's just go see where we're at with them now. Let's go have a look. Let me just double check. Okay, it's 80. Oh, yeah, there's 80 to 85. Then there's 86 to 89. And then there's the 90 to 94, which only requires five of them. And then there's the eight. There's, there's only the one in that category for the XP. But let's go see. Which one did we just get the X for? Not that one. Is it this one? Okay, let's pull them out of here because I want to, I want to try and complete one as soon as possible. Uh, we've not got any in there. Have we got any in there? No. Okay, cool. Okay, what do we need in here now? We just need four and nine. Okay, we're getting close with this one. Obviously, this is one that's supposed to be done over the quarter duration. But if you manage to unlock all five, when you unlock these, it unlocks all five, which then gets you this. And you, it can actually be done three times, but this will give you to receive a pre-season rank up token, 10 doubloons, plus a now and later elite treasure chest. So it does look worth doing if you can get it done because you get one of the rank up tokens. So if you haven't got any of your 99s that you can afford to lose, you can get one through that way. Just requires you get the map pieces. So the map pieces are proving quite difficult. I myself have been mainly spamming the map piece, the pirate ship event, trying to get the map piece. Because if you don't get a map piece, you get doubloons. So you get coins if you need coins. Or you can do this one, which is generally, I don't feel so far has been as worth it. Because I think pretty much nearly every single time from that one, I've got these. And this kit piece exchange, it's only a chance. Um, it's only a chance. And there's another person. <laughs> Two different names, awkward. Let's have a look. There's the XP for midfield. Look, it's only a chance at a kit, and I've opened this is gonna be my seventh one now, and I haven't got a kit out of seven. The drop chance seems way too low on these, it should be higher. Um hopefully EA can review that and potentially either increase the ad ideally we'd like it to be guaranteed kit, but at least if they can increase the chances, so maybe you get on average like two or three out of five just so the increase is better because it takes a lot to grind it and i know we've got however long like till november but it'd just be nice but let's um let's start claiming our pogbas up because we do want to get the pogba into that middle so in here we now get a 96 pogba flip this over that's the short pass necrity to all and then we also get a now and later reward so this is a token that will carry over into next season and it's a small player pack. Now, something I've noticed looking at this, that picture there is a picture of a card that we haven't seen before. And it's a reward for a small player pack next season. I think that that design on that card is next season's card design. That's my theory on it. I may do a full video on this. Maybe I may mock up a design like that uh, with that design and do some designs if that would be an interesting thing you'd want to see. So some concept designs. If any of you guys want to take the idea of, I know a lot of some of you guys are designers as well. I think that's the new card design. Maybe mock one up yourself. I can do a video showcasing your designs, but I think that's the next design. I think that's next year's card design. Let's have a look if we're at the next stage. Okay, we can put these in. Do we want to use up a wild card yet? Yeah, let's just do it. We're going to need to use the wild card sooner or later. And I think you need quite a few of them. So we'll get the 97 version of Pogba as the car starts to get better. And we'll see what reward we get for this stage as well. So here we get Pogba. He's got some more designs to him. And they've got the barn part now. Short pass is an awareness to all. Then what's the now and later reward for the second stage? Is it the same or is it something different? So we reveal this. And it's a medium player pack. Silver token. This token will grant you a reward in the new season. This reward is specified on the front of the token. And it's a medium player pack. Don't know what's in it. But yep. And then where do we get the next stage of Pogba? Okay, we need, we've need we got those. Have we got the tokens yet? Okay, we may as well just fill these up for now. Um, so we're working our way towards that Pogba. That design, that 100 design of Pogba looks so, so good. One overall. 
two short packets in accuracy. So I think we're going to be pretty much ending the video there today. Um, just want to clear a few things up before I go, because a lot of people have asked, what carries over next season? Your FIFA point balance carries over, and the and your now and later rewards. The now and later, these five here, if you do any of complete any of these, you will get an exclusive version of them on the other side in season two. We don't know what rated or anything it is. I highly, highly, highly doubt it's going to be 100 rated because I doubt they want people to get that rating at the start. So it's probably going to be a lower version, but it'll be like a custom design exclusive to only the people who did this version. So like at the moment, they're like the design's like a black and gold card. Maybe it'll be like a black and gold design, but in the new card style. The rest of these players here, with the now and later on, you don't, for these, you don't keep that, you don't get them players on the other side. So if we go here, if you look here, it says the currency token will grant currency award for the next season FIFA Mobile. So if you complete Rodriguez, Biglia, or Higuain, you'll get a current, we'll get a currency token for the other side. That could be coins or FIFA points, or potentially both. Now all of these are a variety of things. So we'll just go over a few of them. So we know Pogba is a player pack. Aurier is also a player pack. From what I can tell when I've looked before, basically the ones I'm not now are all player packs. Is De Rossi or not yet? Yeah, player packs. The ones that unlock next week, so like Tor Torres, who unlocks on Friday, small training XP pack in this next season. What's an XP pack? We don't know. My theory is if you saw my video the other week on uh, potential, um, potential things that will be in a new season, like in Madden, we looked at what the new season of Madden's got. Madden, you're able to level players up with XP tokens or with players. My guess is that's what's coming to season two of FIFA Mobile. I think we'll have XP and being able to train your players up. So you train any players up to a certain level. That's my guess. If we have a look, um, is Shakiri still the 22nd? Okay, when's it? Unlock to the next one. Cavani says a small skill trainer. I have no idea what that means, a, a trainer item. I'm really not sure what a trainer item means. So it's something new. So that's some a new feature for the next season. But XP and trainers, they're not something we're used to in this game. So they're new. Mkhitaryan is still the trainers. Let's have a look. What else is on? Is Baines the following week? Yeah, he's start. He'll grant a small program pack usable in the next season FIFA Mobile. So a program pack, I'm assuming it's something to do with the programs we do. Maybe it gives you um, token. Say there's a program at the start of the game. Obviously, at the start of this game, we had top transfers. I doubt there'll be that because we've got top transfers in this. But I guess it'll be a pack that contains program. Maybe it'll be just like the default events and stuff like that. What we had this year, sort of like international champions, rookies, veterans, all stuff like that. It'll be, a mi I might assume that may be like a mixture of tokens for the new programs of whatever they do at the start. Miranda says rank up rewards used within the next season of FIFA Mobile. So I'm not quite sure what this means by rank up rewards, but if we're looking at it from a point of view from this program, when we're leveling these play we get a player, we use the kits and stuff, then we use XP tokens and we use rank up tokens to get them up to the next level. Is this a hint at like I was saying with the Madden training? Maybe when you're leveling them up, you have to use XP and then you have to rank them up to the next category at certain points. Like at every so many levels, you level them up. Maybe you then have to use a rank up token to get them to the next boundary. Maybe like a bronze to get it become a silver. You have to use more than just the XP. You have to maybe use rank up. I don't know. I'm just spitballing based on what these are and what we've seen in, in Madden. And that's all them. So there's some interesting rewards there. Obviously, hopefully, I assume over the next few weeks and months, they're going to start showcasing what's going to be in Season 2 because the blog said there's going to be a host of new game features. This is a full, full, it's a restart with a massive, massive update. Um, all the designs and everything's going to change. So big start, everything leaves this, we start again. You get your FIFA points and that's what you get out of the other ones. Nothing else carries over, everything goes. Get your team overall to the highest it can be. Not your first 11, your full 27. So if you've got low rated game change on your side, start leveling start changing them up as you can use all your coins up by the end because coins don't carry over so use as coins in any way you can to get your team overall the highest as possible and to finish whatever you can of these but do leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new here come follow me on twitter at joe and i'll see you all later